dear students it is the second video for the week fifth the students in the previous video we came to know that the areas in which Pakistan is currently based was just like there was not a well established area it was simply based on the different tribes which scattered on these areas and they used to help out they were the uh, facilitators to the conquerors and invaders from the central asia mostly fine and they had their own different taste similarly these uh, people these tribes uh, were all in punjab in sindh uh, kpk especially in gilgit baltistan and many many areas fine so we have to study these uh, concepts in this context once again the area currently occupied by pakistan has long been a route of the military conquest and antipod for the people and cultures it is therefore a significant culture and ethnic melting pot okay I mean this area uh, is culturally rich because the people of the various types and cultures and languages firstly were introduced here and then they would spread on the other areas of the vast india Modern Pakistan's population can be divided broadly into five major and several minor ethnic groups. Clear? Modern Pakistan's population can be divided broadly into five major and several minor ethnic groups that we can divide Pakistani population in the five major groups, and there are several other uh, minor. Minor mean. Uh, less in number fine the Punjabis the very first group is Punjabis who constitute roughly half of the population are the single largest group fine our single largest group must remember this that although this statement says that the single largest groups it is not uh, that much true on the ground although the Punjabis belong to the same race yet there are so many differences and the biggest difference is the caste system however punjabis share the root language culture traditions almost the religion even is the same fine however the punjabis of both india or pakistan the eastern punjab and the western punjab of pakistan but still the poor is the poor the caste system is so strong this is a drawback with uh, the system and uh, this is how the chemistry at the Punjabi culture is entirely different from the Pashtun or others. The Pashtun Pathans account for about one eight of the population. Fine one eight mean uh, every eighth person in Pakistan population is the Pathan. And Sindhis form somewhat a smaller group. Clearly, Sindhis are smaller. Uh, out of the remaining population, Mohajis. Mohajis mean Muslims who fled to Pakistan after the partition in 1947, and Baluchs constitute our largest groups. Fine, but here we must include the other groups. They are very strong. That is. Kashmir Kashmiris Gilgitis Kashmiris Gilgitis and Baltis
these are also a very important people that make the Pakistan and you know this that in the recent uh, development after India revoked 370 I mean this change the status of Kashmir and is going to change the ethnic uh, composition and the demography of Kashmir Pakistan has also issued the new map and claimed that the Kashmiris are the people share of people of Pakistan the lands occupied by India are the lands of Pakistan fine Gilgit and Baltistan has already been annexed in Pakistan fine so these are also very important uh, uh, people who are the part of the Pakistani population and these three also have a distinct cultures their own traditions clear on uh, style of living food and everything ethnic composition according to a pie chart you see in 2000 Punjabis were 52.6 percent Pashtun were 13.2 percent Sindhis include 11 point seven percent Udu speaking seven point five percent Baluchi four point three percent and others they include ten point seven percent but this map is this estimate is quite old now the situation on the ground may have changed drastically and the facts may be volatile enough okay now we come to the Pakistan's ethnic composition they were simply over ethnic composition ethnic is called firka clear firka bandi you know this this is called ethnic and these groups and ethnicity is a natural one according to the civic laws that every individual when they grew the individual then they grow in number they want their own distinct recognition and status that's how they get into groups clear this grouping formation was later on the shape came into the states for example if we explore the historic uh, city states of Greece Sparta Athens Macedonia and others initially there were simply strong individuals they combined they selected the strong person as they had and the other intelligent people became the they occupy the other responsibilities a concept of the city-state emerged clear so ethnic means groups so in Pakistan and everywhere there are different kind of groups number one religious groups political groups racial groups uh, business groups fine so this grouping is called ethnic so in this discussion we come to know we'll explore that what kind of ethnic groups uh, involve on racism and on the religious thoughts fine uh, well let's read there are subgroup there are subgroups within each these five categories as well as a number of smaller ethnic groups not include among them the Arains ethnic groups the ethnic composition in Punjab this is remember this that they are we are talking about Punjabis the Ara Aryans Aryans Rajputs and jars this word may be now produced as a rhyme Aryans Rajputs and jars these are the three major races clear and they are they they are flourished they live they dwell on different areas prehistorically pre uh, Jar Rajputs they were mostly from Rajasthan India 
and they controlled those areas for example Rajasthan and uh, Jaipur was there once a very important city and famous city as well later on in different intervals in the history these people invaded on the others clear and then they conquered many areas for example Rajputs Jats they have then their subdivisions for example if you talk about Rajput so we say Rajputs Bhattis Ranjas clear Jinjuas fine they they claim themselves to be Rajputs for example in Ralpindi they they claim themselves to be Rajputs fine and these are the people who live here then there are Janjuas there are Gakkads fine and there are th these people have a history for example Rad Pindi was uh, founded by Rawal Khan fine so uh, he was a kind of Rajput once maybe Jats Jats were another nation they developed on the uh, say on the banks of Jhelum River, Chenab and Ravi. Clear? Jats developed on Jhelum, Chenab and Ravi. Fine. And that was a Bela, that was a jungle. So these people in nature, uh, they had a tribe system. They mostly would uh, make agriculture because they were developing on the very fertile lands fine all Punjabis regard themselves as ethnically distinct and it is clear that there is a caste system some groups overlap the categories for instance there are Punjabis Pashtun as well Hazarvi Pashtuns means that over the years when uh, people from one area developed on others and this is very important because in the Mughal area and before the Mughals in the Lodhis and in the time of uh, especially in the time of uh, Sultan of Ghaznai, Sultan Mahmud Ghaznai, the tribes for the Middle Asia especially Afghanistan I mean they came and they settled in the uh, Punjab and the other areas of uh, India and now you see basically they are Pathans they are uh, Turks by nature but now ethnically and linguistically and culturally they are Punjabis you find Choktais Mughals Barlas Mughals fine Kekobads uh, there are many many uh, uh, people who are by uh, culture they are Punjabi but by race they are Pashtun for example General Hamid Gul I mean perhaps he was a uh, Pashtun by a race but he included himself in Punjab fine so there are many things and there are many uh, races of the Punjab which have been settled in uh, Khyber Pakhturkha and you find many people in Peshawar and other cities especially if you want to find this one you should explore where is there is a Kent you find that there is a mixed races however in out of Peshawar or out of uh, the other cities maybe the people are pure but in the business towns in Kent areas people belong to the same uh, different races and they have perhaps shifted or planted from the other areas some smaller groups of Punjabis such as the Bruhis in Sindh and Sraikis in Punjab are also ethnically distinct now we come to Bruhis and Sraikis Sraikis is called the southern Punjab the southern belt of uh, Punjab for example it starts from Miawali Laya, Bhakkar, Hushab, uh, uh, then we go on Muzaffargarh, Multan, Rahim Yar Khan, fine. This is a huge vast area and they are called 
Sraiki, they are not Pathans, fine they are Sraiki, their language, culture, style, poetry and everything is. Tribal Pashtuns, tribal Pashtuns are another subgroup of the Pashtuns finds divided into numerous tribal orders. They inhabit in the mountainous regions along the Afghan front frontiers that the Pakhtuns are also divided into different tribes. Some are living in the Afghanistan border, some are along the Balochistan border, some are within, uh, sorry, along the Punjab and Balochistan and some are with Iranian borders and uh, middle of the Ira, uh, Balochistan. Among these are Yusuf Zais, Aurak Zais, Sawati, Afridi, Wazir, Mohammed and Masood. Other unique tribal people are found still farther north in the remote mountains regions of Deer, Chitral, Onza and Gilgit. Means these people are also uh, enjoying, uh, they are also have their roots in Deer, Chitral, Onza and Gilgit. And in Deer, there is a very dominant population of the Pashtuns. Well, we also should include, uh, you have uh, heard the word uh, Kailash people in Chitral that is a very distinct and uh, uh, innovative community that still uh, practicing and surviving their centuries old religion. Fine. So, these communities do exist in the different parts of the mountains. Fine. So, thank you very much. I think so. It's enough from the ethnic composition, uh, from the race, fine, the region we have also explained. The next video will uh, express the uh, linguistic compositions. Thank you very much.